guys, welcome back to my channel and my very organized room, being sarcastic here. <laughs> so funny. So last week, I promised you guys that this week's video is going to be about why I started a YouTube channel. Basically, refreshing my mind, telling myself why I started this whole YouTube thing. So going straight into it, where it all started. So I've always had the thought about what I'll do if I was a YouTuber, like I would make DIYs, which I am doing right now. Anyways, where it actually started was a friend of mine at school told everyone to subscribe to her channel and I watched a few of her videos. It's actually pretty good for a beginner and it really inspired me to the point I actually started one of my own. So I started researching about how to start a channel and what to do and like the names and stuff. And of all the videos, most of them told me I should start my YouTube channel now because you've learned from mistakes. Actually, all the questions I have are mostly answered by searching it up on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> if you want to start a YouTube channel and you're very sure about it, that you have time and you can be consistent with it, or if you can work on it, then start your YouTube channel now because you learn from mistakes and it's better to start now than later. Anyways, the purpose. I started making videos. First, it was really an excuse to make DIYs because my mom really hates the idea of keeping trash, aka recycled cardboard and water bottles that I'll make DIYs out of that I call treasure. I don't know, I just love making DIYs and stuff. I just think when you can make something decent out yourself, you just feel like you're you've accomplished something so big and it makes me feel very happy about it. Okay, so on my way, I discovered that the purpose is also exploring my passion, becoming a better person, and inspiring others. Possibly. So exploring my passions, I like gardening, crafting, and dancing, but I'm not very good at dancing. Yeah, I'm actually not very good at crafting and gardening either. I just love those three things and a hell lot of other things, but I'm just not good at it. And I don't. Th I think it just takes practice. YouTube is a platform for me to explore my passion because I can search things up. I can also post things I'm doing. So in videos, you can literally make anything that you can film, record about. I think it's a very free form. So that's why I really like it. There's also becoming a better person. I want to make habits. I want to do self care, which I'll explain later on in the video. And I also want to live green, basically living eco-friendly. On the way to do that, I hope I can inspire others and make me, myself, and possibly you guys to keep going and do what you love. So here I'm moving on to the issues, why I'm not posting. The two main reasons are stress and being unmotivated. So stress includes homework, which I didn't handle my first wave of homework well. I don't blame the teachers, I blame on my... Uh, not necessarily blame, but I don't blame on the teachers. I think it's something I, I myself need to work on. Basically, it's 99% your reaction and 1% of what happened. S school events slash other extracurricular activities. Let's say I have a rehearsal on Saturday, which takes a day off of my filming. It's in the morning and I like to film with sunlight and not like artificial light which I don't have. It's just basically the light I have in my room. And also trips kind of messes my schedule up as well because I need to unpack, I need to, unpack, I need to keep up with my homework. Yeah. And another thing is always wanting to make at least three DIYs. I just feel like two DIYs is not enough. One DIY, what are you talking about? And the thing is, I think I should change that mindset because as a person who watches other people's videos, I just really hope they post their videos. But I think I, I, if I work on it, it's going to be possible that I can stay consistent. The other main issue is being unmotivated. Editing, that's one major problem because every time after I filmed the video, I really liked it sometimes. I'm just like, oh, visual edit. Voice over, oh my god, that's a lot. Voice overs, I hate it because I, if I don't plan it out, then I will struggle with speaking, like what I should say. And if I do plan it out, it's gonna take a long time to write it all down or type it all down. It does take a long time, but if you go straight into it, it actually, you just complete everything and then you just feel so accomplished after. Okay, the other thing that gets me unmotivated is like 
feel DIYs like slime. So in the summer, I tried three times to make slime. It all failed. And um, I bought six bottles of glue and I didn't want to go on after that because six bottles of glue was kind of too much for me. Anyways, let's move on to my motivations. The things I like about filming and making vid videos is vlogs are beautiful and easy to do. I love montages. Montages are basically video clips or like pictures that you take and you make it into a video. It doesn't have to be short, it can be long, I don't know. Once you put music into it, I mean you don't have to put music into it, but I just like it when there's music. It just flows so well that you have like one video clip and then it changes to another scene by the beat of the song, which is just so satisfying to me. By the way, my vlogs are called Totally Vlogging because I literally don't talk like this with my camera. I just feel like it's pretty really awkward for me. I'll work on that, but I really like the style I'm vlogging right now because it's just montages and me talking in the background about like the life lessons I learned and like interesting things in life and like what I'm trying to work on sometimes. And the next bullet point is the music after the video. Like sometimes after I do the visual edit of like let's say DIYs, I just feel like it's so dry that it's only my voice and then there's nothing else. And once you put music into it, it just gives the pop a taste and it just feels so much better after and I feel like, yes, I can post it. Another motivation is keeping track of a happy, healthy life and living green. Okay, so a happy, healthy life is like habits, goals, and living green. So let's move on to the solution. I have already given a kind of like a solution for like being unmotivated. For unmotivated, I'm going to give myself one motivational reason to make my video, especially for editing. Okay, so another thing is if that doesn't work, especially for my editing, I'll tell myself, okay, five, four, three, two, one, and I'll go edit. If you let your mind think, it'll talk yourself out of it, which means you're just extending the time of your procrastination or like doing something else and not what you're supposed to do. And I really recommend that method. The hardest thing is getting started, but when it, once you get started, it's just so much easier. Okay, so I'm also going to be setting rules and habits. So on the back of my notes, so a few days ago, basically yesterday, <laughs> I bought sticky notes and a little BMO. Okay, so Adventures Time is my favorite cartoon and I just love it. The cartoon characters are so cute and the story is just so good. And I also bought sticky notes. They're just sharing part of my daily life. So here I've got some sticky notes to organize my life. So here you can see that here are some characters. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Anyways, getting back onto top. Okay, so I ordered like a very simple schedule for myself. So I'll film on the weekends and on Sundays. If I film on Saturday and if I have a Sunday available, I'll edit on Sunday, but if I can't, I'll edit on school days, which means on Monday and Tuesday, I'll do visual editing. On Tuesday, if I'm done with the visual editing, possibly plan out the voiceover. And Wednesday, I'll do the voiceover. And then Thursday, I'll do the final touches, which means like music, my intro, outro. And Friday, I'll post it. I'll post even if it's only one DIY. And I apologize for that if it's not three that like I usually want to do. I'm telling myself I don't need to post on a busy week because if I'm overwhelmed, I can't really adapt to things well. And if I have YouTube along with it, then I'll get so stressed out. And I won't even get my video done, which means I need to start over again. And I think this is better because if I have to start over, it's even worse. My last topic, what is this channel all about? So yes, it is DIYs and vlogs. In my future videos, I want to add becoming a better person, basically my lifestyle, which I'm kind of filming right now because I want to show progress. That's why I'm not posting any videos like that now. I want to work on my habits, which means I'm working on creating a stretching routine, which I'm doing right now, and that's the most consistent habit I'm having right now. Okay, so self-care is another thing you can work on. Okay, so if you don't know what self-care is, it basically comes from like self-love. You're the person that you're gonna live with for your whole life, which means 
If you hate yourself, then how can you love your life? Without loving yourself, you can't love your life. Anyways, enough of that talking. Living green and just being eco-friendly is something else I want to work on because I really like nature, I really like plants, I really like gardening and I've always reminded myself to try to do something about the environment and I think living green kind of helps me to make better choices let's say my mom tells me to eat veggies but I hate it but it gives me a reason to tell myself okay, me it takes a lot of carbon footprint, which is not good compared to veggies, so I'll eat veggies. Something like that. Exploring my passions is another thing I want to do on my channel. So crafting, gardening, and dancing, that's pretty much it. Okay, now after I've made a video on it, I'm looking forward to making- Yeah, if I can't keep up, I would come back to watch this video and remind myself again of why I started this whole YouTube thing. Anyways, I hope you like this video, although it's not DIY like I usually do and I don't talk like this. And subscribe to the button down below for my future videos. Bye!